But it's time now for Ask the Expert. Joy, sadness, fear, anger. They're not only characters in the new Disney Pixar movie, Inside Out. These emotions can also play a big role in our financial lives. They certainly do. From overspending to not saving enough, these feelings can have a big impact on our money habits. That's why we have certified financial planner Tony Drake here <laughs> with WealthWisconsin.com to explain why. And certainly emotions play a big role, don't they? They really do. Recent survey showed about seven out of ten of us admit that emotions have a big part of our finances and and you know can really affect what we're doing about 75 percent of us admit that we've done an impulse buy in our lifetime so it can have a really big impact important to identify some of that make sure it doesn't get you off track on your budget and your long-term planning so it's important to look at that and make sure you stay on track there it's called retail therapy that's Tony. right <laughs> retail, retail therapy. so uh, what emotions have the most negative impact when it comes to finances well sadness fear i mean retail therapy women <laughs> admit that. Day, i need yeah. a new pair of shoes <laughs> women actually admit 80 percent of women admit that that's why they're shopping they're sad or, yeah. or, or feeling uh, down about something problem with that obviously debt if you're going to run up those credit cards buy things you can't afford you know th those purchases end up being a lot more expensive with the interest fear Fear is a tough yeah. one. You know, that can really cause us to second guess our, our decisions that we're making in our investments, cause us to get off track, change things, maybe be a little bit afraid of what's happening economically, want to really have a long term outlook there. So fear can really get us off track. And anger? Anger is a tough one. You know, anger is similar to fear. You know, that can really cause us to make poor decisions, change. That's where sometimes having a financial advisor, trusted friend that you can talk to, get you to cool off a little bit, can help you stay focused on the long term goals. The opposite can happen? opposite can certainly happen. These emotions can also cause us to achieve our goals as well, like paying off debt. It can be pretty exciting. There's some great research that shows when we pay off debt, causes a lot of joy and happiness in our lives. You have a great budget worksheet, debt worksheet on the website, wealthwisconsin.com. The idea there, pay off the smallest debts first, so you get that feeling of joy and excitement and maybe keep you on track to get the rest of those knocked out. You know, the thing that always is the trickiest is if you're in the market and you have investments in your 401k or your retirement plan is that fear that can settle in when the market is sort of crashing. Now, that hasn't happened in the last five years. You pretty much have seen your accounts go up. But how do you sort of divorce yourselves from the emotions of that to know when to buy and when to sell? That's really the most difficult part. You know, a lot of research out there that shows the retail investor, a non-professional, tends to buy when the market's right. really driven up and they uh, sell when the market's down, they panic. And the it's worst the thing to do, of, right? Uh, worst thing to do. So a lot of it is having a long-term view, having a plan, working with an advisor that can help you stay focused. You really have to look at risk and that depends on timing. If you're getting close to retirement, maybe it's time to take those pullbacks in the market a little bit more seriously because it really counts now. If we have 10, 20, 30 years, best to probably not look at that, stay on track, keep putting the money in, and over time we know those returns come back. The steady course the always steady seems course. to win. You got it. Hopefully does. All right, if you got a question for our experts, email them at the number you see right there on your screen. Of course, you can always go to todaystmj4.com and uh, check it out. Tony, thanks. Thank you.